Okay, so here are the paints that I have uh, selected for these three kits to paint. Um, the most common, of course, would be the Yamato, which will be the red. I decided to use Russet, um, which I actually used this on my last, on my 1500 scale Yamato, painting it this color. I had fun with this, of course. And for the top part, I'm going to probably use gray. I don't know if it's either going to be gray or or grayish blue. I think grayish blue will probably be a good choice because it has that bluish tinge to it. Yeah, I think that would probably be a good idea. As a matter of fact, this is just actually... Um, I'm remembering a time when when you when Space Battleship Yamato 2199 series was coming out, and of course the model kits were coming out. Um, they were selling, I believe, the same company, Mr. Hobby, said uh, was selling a box of three paints for Yamato, um, the 1000 scale kit, uh, which was already pre-done for you to use it on your kit. I remember seeing it. I forgot where it was. Um, now it's kind of hard to find. It's very rare and maybe not hard to come by. But at the time when I, I said to myself I was going to get it, I said, you know what, I'll, I'll just paint with what paints I have. But it's kind of cool to see that they were able to, you know, tailor tailor paints for this series. So yeah, so we got these two guys for this. I'm going to spray paint the red first. Then I'm going to mask it off and spray paint the other color. So that guy is ready to go. For for the destroyer. Now I'm gonna bring the box here. So we have um, a combination of light bluish tone and a, a light grayish tone and a dark and a gray tone. So maybe we can use. Um, so I said this and this for that. We can use this here for that color tone. And I pulled this one off. This is very little paint here, but we could use it for this section here. So I'll probably end up painting the whole part this color, mask it, paint this color. Then for the yellow, we use Moto uh, Pure Yellow. I don't know if I'm going to spray paint it or I'm going to probably hand paint it because how small and delicate, uh, you know. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable this looks to paint so I may I may end up hand painting a few parts here and there it'll be fun to see for the destroyer this guy um, I have orange which I didn't pull out and I'm going to be using um, MS gray for this oh and I, for, um, I forgot I pulled out this. Oh yeah, put that little white part there. I could use orange or could you use yellow, but I think I'm gonna probably end up using orange. So I gotta find orange. I think I have I don't know if I have yeah, I do have orange, yes, what am I talking about? I have the orange from the uh from the uh Wing Gundam uh Verka that I made this year. So that'll be perfect for this. So we have orange there, there, there. So with this guy, we have the tip here orange, this section here orange, this section here orange, and then there's little parts here that I'm gonna probably dab with a um, with a brush and dab there for orange. There's a little part there for orange as well, and this little section here is white. All right, cool, cool. This is cool. Let me begin. Uh, we're gonna begin with the Yamato first. Okay, let's see this. Thank you. 
good. It's a shame I have no other kits here that require red. But I'll just put it back in the reservoir. Okay, that's good. Let it dry, and then I'll mask it off in a few moments. Alright. Okay, let's begin with this guy. I apologize that the, the color tone on the screen is a little different. It almost looks the same as what I just painted a few moments ago. But clearly with the other colors that I'll apply, we'll highlight a little bit further. I also got to remember that I primed it black. So that... Uh, greatly affects the, the parts. I have a little bit left 
here. So we'll just give it a nice double coverage. Uh -huh. Just made it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Cool. All right. Let me uh, let it dry, and then I want to begin masking. Okay. So now that this is dried, I'll take some masking tape here. This should be a nut right there. And we're going to go right under the wing. There is a seam, um, a seam line there. So just trying to grab that line. Hopefully where it meets. Let's bend that around a bit, like so. Me is this. Well, actually, no, it has to go... It has to go right under that. And then I'm going to have to get another seam, another masking tape there. I'm going to use a smaller one. If I have to, I'll do the same thing here. See there that it curves up. She's pretty close. Let me just grab half of that. And just slightly overlap it. There we go. Yep, I think that's it. Obviously, I'm going to be painting everything from the top and under here. So let me continue on the other side and we'll paint this again. We're going to begin painting the other layer of colors on these kits, starting with the Yamato, using the grayish blue 337. Let's give it a good mixture here. We'll do this by hand. Go here first because I gotta get the underway. And you know what? <laughs> I almost forgot. Let me do this now before I forget. Take a little bit of a cotton ball. One of my 
Q-tips. And put it, it's a little too big. Let me make it a little smaller. Thruster and wings uh, on the back, I'm going to paint them separately. I'm not going to show it off. Uh, obviously, i got to wait until this thing dries so I can um, mask that off and paint it another color. I don't know which one yet. I'm thinking of maybe um, Titan's Blue 1, which is a darker charcoal color. But that's something I'll, I'm going to do off camera. So that way we can all take a look at this kit, how it looks when we're done. I'm gonna make sure there's a nice coverage on this so I don't forget. Because sometimes, you know, you'll miss something and then you go, ah, damn it. It's a nice classic kit though. Very nice. Alright. That part is done. Later on we'll remove the masking to review it. Let's now move on to the next part of the build.